so hi just like an update for those very few uh, followers that I have that are mostly international nurses so those that have followed my um, journey from the Philippines to the United States of America from being an agency nurse to you know after completing my contract and relocating here in New York City so right now the latest in my like nursing journey i i applied for an internal transfer from medical surgical nursing or from bedside nursing into case management so in a few weeks time i might be uploading some uh, videos on the journey that i'm going to take and the transition and the changes that i have to face as i transition from bedside to um, management position so i'm excited and at the same time i'm i feel a little bit anxious about it because i don't have uh, a lot of experience in case management so it will be a totally different world for me although uh being case manager you need to be a registered nurse uh it's still a lot deeper than being on bedside and since most of my experience is on the bedside so that's kind of what makes it a little challenging for me so uh the way how i transition from bedside to um, case management so basically if you are working in a health system or in a hospital or if you want to apply to a different hospital you just basically go to their um, website and on the career um, posting so i just basically applied on the case uh, management position and then one of the recruiter called me and you know the usual they uh did an initial interview and why I wanted to apply on, on the particular position and then they set me up an interview with the uh, manager uh, actually there are two managers uh, on my on my uh, on my end that interviewed me and then after a few days I got the uh, a call back that they're considering me for the position I actually did recorded the whole interview but for uh, so I don't want to have any issue with uh, copyright or for any violation related to you know uploading uh, the interview process. I might probably just put some clips on those common questions that I encountered during my interview. So I hope you, if you want to transition eventually to case management, wait for my uh, future videos or if you're uh, about to have an interview for case management, uh, here are some of the few common questions that I encountered during my interview. Okay. All right. So tell us what you understand case management to be here in the U.S., the position you're applying for. Okay. Give us a sense of what you think that position involves. Okay, so uh, when I was in Texas, it's uh, I work in a day shift. Right now, I work in uh, at night shift. So the un the nurse station that I've been working with at the back of the nurse station is the case management office. So sometimes I will have a small talk with our case manager, whether it's um, personal or uh, patient related. So that kind of gave me an idea of my long term goal or plan once i feel that i need to transition away from the bedside i feel at one point as a medical surgical nurse for uh, more than 10 years i know that there will be a time that i won't be physically or mentally healthy anymore to be in the unit so at some point i know i'm realistic that i need to be somewhere else and i don't want to limit also my uh myself in the at the bedside so what i want or like or understand about um, case management is basically you utilize your experience, whether as a bedside nurse or as charge nurse, in uh, preparing and helping patients to have a better disposition uh, upon discharge. And that's basically 
coordination with home health agency with uh my contract with the home health agency i actually moved back to med surge so that's uh where i had a memorable experience with the case manager so you see that place is an island so a lot of the workers are like me at that time are contract workers so i remember we had a patient who had the stroke so those usual cases that they will end up to the icu and then it, they will have some debility uh, that uh, patient is a Filipino who is who initially came to that place as a construction worker, but uh, he overstayed even uh, after his uh, visa ended. So when he had a stroke, he didn't have any place to go, and then uh, he didn't have insurance. So the hospital is trying to, of course, they need uh, to get reimbursement. They're trying to reach out to the government of the Northern Mariana Islands, but the government is denying the patient because they say that the patient is not a U.S. citizen. He's not even qualified for uh, federal uh, programs. And then they're also reaching out to the Philippine government, but the Philippine government is also denying their uh, appeal because they said it happened to outside their country. So to make the story short, that's when I saw a case manager uh, like did everything to help that patient so eventually case management were able to convince the hospital uh, administrators that this patient should be sent home because they're losing uh, money by keeping that patient in the hospital and there are a lot of patients in the emergency room that are in need of the hospital bed so by the time that he was uh, about to rep uh, to be repatriated back home it was kind of emotional because he was like saying all his thank you and appreciation to all the nurses in the nurse uh, in the nurse station, and some of his uh, friends are also in our unit saying their goodbye because when he got repatriated, uh, of course he will not go to the usual uh, entrance in the airport, so that's the only place where he can bid uh, his goodbye among his friends. So at that moment, I felt that uh, as a case management or a case manager, even if you don't have a direct contact or you don't have a uh, same contact as what bedside nurses do you can actually make a huge impact with patients so i feel that uh even if of course i have to be uh honest i was contemplating am i ready to leave bedside because this has been my comfort zone but i realized if i can have those moments where i feel those are the moments that uh, i love about nursing what made me uh, stick or uh, fall in love with the profession is those moments that you can actually make a, a impact uh, with patients' lives. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you were to tell us um, what your strengths and weaknesses are, what would you say they are? Okay. Um. I think one uh, I can be proud of is my experience in medical surg uh, surgical nursing taught me to be uh, more in terms of uh, time management. I, they always said that it's always good to start in med surg because it's a good training ground whenever or before you transition to other specialty units or other uh, discipline of nursing. And also I think with my experience, three different countries, uh, I was able to develop that confidence in terms of dealing with people from all walks of life, whether it's a difficult doctor, difficult patients, or difficult uh, family members, and hard work. Uh, I can say that, you know, I have a good uh, working uh, ethics, and I think it has something to do with your humble beginnings. If you started your career uh, from... A very humble beginning, you tend to appreciate what you...